Okay, today I just want to do a real quick and easy little streamer. It's getting uh, getting close to time to start thinking about white bass and uh, crappie and a few other spring species. So I uh, wanted to kind of throw this, uh, this streamer pattern out here for you. Just a real fast, easy, kind of a guide fly type pattern. Not a whole lot to it. Just a couple materials. We're going to start out with a... Uh, Gamakatsu B10S stinger hook, but to be honest with you, just about any streamer hook that you prefer is going to be a good way to go on this one. We're going to uh, lay down a layer of red thread. In this particular case, it's Viva 6 Ot, but again, it's not really going to matter too much. We're just going to take that and we're going to start that thread up by the eye of the hook. And we're just going to run a thread base down to the bend of the hook. And really all this is going to do is this is just going to prevent, present just a little bit of say maybe a blood trail or a gill patch or something like that for our for our fly. Just give it a little bit of a attractive color there and we're going to run that back. We can get rid of that tag in. And we're really, we're done with the red threads. We're just going to throw a quick whip finish on that. And that's going to be covered over by other materials so we don't have to be real worrisome about how we finish that up. And then we're going to come in with our uh, white thread which is also going to be a, a 6 ot vivus in white. And we're going to tie that in right about where we tied off the, uh, the red thread. We're going to get that tied off there. And then we're going to take our Shimmer fringe, really kind of an interesting material. It's kind of like uh, it's it's just basically the ice dubbing strands, only uh, left long and fused together at the top so that they're easy to handle. We're just going to trim off a width of that, and you notice as we pull that apart from our from our material, then we've got a nice, easy, manageable hank here to, to work with. And we're just going to measure out a bit of that, about twice the, about twice the length of the shank of the hook. And that's going to be the, the first part of the belly of our minnow. So we're going to set that under there. And we're going to lash that on there with a couple of quick turns. Kind of tease that to the bottom so we can see how we're, we're doing. Yep, about the right length. And we're going to hold our thread out of the way so we don't cut it. And then we're going to trim that off. And now to get a little more bulk in this belly, we're going to come back with the remainder of this. And we're going to measure it out just a little bit shorter than the rest of the tail was, or the rest of the part was, so that we build a little bit of taper. And then we're going to come in and we're going to add that just right there with what we did before. Again with a couple of wraps. Tease that down kind of evenly on both sides of the hook. Make sure we get everything tied on there good and solid. And then again we're going to hold the thread out of the way so we don't cut it. And we're going to get in there with our scissors and we're going to cut that off. Take a few thread wraps, make sure we get that uh, bound down well. And then we're going to come in on top with the same type of material only it's going to be a peacock on top fused with chartreuse on the bottom. So we're going to get kind of a layered effect. And this is going to be a little thicker. So we're not going to probably have to double up with that. We can just go ahead and do one, one length of material and keep that, uh, keep that layered effect real nice. So then we're just going to go in here about the same length as the rest of our fly. And we're just going to bind that down on top of the hook with a few good wraps. Go in, trim that off at an angle so that we'll get a nice smooth head when we, when we wrap the rest of this down. There we go. Get... We don't have to worry too much about how neat this head is because we're going to put eyes on it and cover it all up with UV resin and so it's going to be nice and pretty. We do want to trim the strays out that we got here. 
we're done with the actual tying part of this fly so we're going to take and we're going to whip finish that uh, that a couple of times just enough to hold it until we get the eyes on and the resin coating over it we don't have to get too fancy with our whip finish and we're just going to take before we put the eyes on we're just going to take a pair of pliers and we're going to flatten this all out so that we got a nice flat surface for those eyes to sit on and take that and flatten that so that's nice and flat and then we're going to rotate this so that we've got a that flat surface up to make it a little easier to apply the eyes and we're just going to take a stick on just a stick on eye and we're just going to get that on there and press that on there then we're going to rotate it over to the other side grab another eye and we're going to do that same thing get that on there whoops maybe get that on there There we go. And as you can see, those eyes aren't sticking on there real good, so we're not done with this. We want those eyes to be on there permanently and forever. So we're going to reach in and we're going to grab the, uh, the Loon UV Clear Fly Finish UV Resin. doesn't have to be Loon. It can be any brand you want, any brand that you feel, feel good about and feel secure with. And we're just going to get some of that on the brush. And we're just going to put a drop between the eyes on top and then another drop between the eyes on the bottom give that a couple of rotations just to kind of let everything settle in where it needs to be and then we're going to hit it with our UV light real quick for just a few seconds just to set that up now we've got our eyes in place we're going to come back with our resin and we're going to put an overcoat on those eyes just to make sure that everything is smooth and and pretty and kind of give it a another layer of material there to keep those eyes from popping off very easily hit that with our with our UV light give it a spin so that we make sure the light covers all the surfaces few seconds of that yep we're set up nice and and there we are we've got our uh, we've got our shimmer fringe streamer ready to fish ready to stick it in a white bass or a crappie or whatever wants to come along and eat it